beautiful. Thank you, Alyssa. At least 300 million people actively use Instagram every month to post photos, add filters, and essentially display their own photography turned artwork. Chances are you may be one of those people, but what would happen if you found out someone was profiting off of your Instagram photos and without your permission? Well, no, well-known artist, rather, Richard Prince, has done just that. These are selfies Prince took from Instagram, and he turned the posts into murals that were displayed in his art shows. One of the pieces even sold for $90,000. Several of the people in the photos say they did not give Prince permission to do this, and they want a piece of the pie. Here to help us understand what our social media rights are is managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Good afternoon. Hi, Ann. How are you? This caught my attention. Sure because did, I'm yeah. one of those people that posts and posts. <laughs> uh, do we have any rights over those photos that we post on social media? You know, it's interesting. When you post something on social media, or let's say that you record an album or maybe you write poetry, the second you put it out to the general population, it is deemed copyrighted. You don't need to go to the trademark and uh, route and go to the, to the patent office. But So what happens is everything that's out there is copyrighted, in, including the material that Mr. Prince sold for lots of money. So how can he do this then if the material is copyrighted? Well, there are exceptions to the copyright, and he thinks that he has an exception. And that exception is called the fair use doctrine, but you have to show you made substantial changes to that artwork, meaning, in essence, it's become new artwork. You took and take some ideas, change it so much. I'm not sure I agree with that argument. They're photos. He made them larger, added some lighting, but he certainly has profited from this, and we'll have to see what happens. And could there be a way to go after him in terms of privacy, perhaps? Because now you've got people who've bought these uh, pieces of art, and now uh, maybe their face is hanging in yeah. someone's living room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it makes perfect sense. But here's the issue. Once you take your photo or once you go out to the public and you wander around or you post it electronically, you don't have that privacy right anymore. You've already kind of given that up by putting it out there for people to see and people to take that image, recreate it, and maybe put it in your house. And really quickly, because we're out of time, what can you do to protect yourself? Well, unfortunately, it, it takes a lot of money to protect the copyright, so you can get a lawyer and go down that road, but ultimately just don't lose sight of the fact that once you go social media, you have basically lost control of you and your image. Okay. Be yeah. careful of what you post online. Yes, Thank yes, you, Paul. Yes.